Okay, so just as a little bit of context, we played <laughs> our first couple of matches in the new like April Fool's PvP rule. If you're unaware, you can basically run more than one set of the same character. Uh, you can technically run like four Meliodas's if you want to. It seems like the best strat people are doing is two sets of two, because for each set that you get because of this new rule, uh, you actually gain one evasion on the character, which is really annoying. I'm not a big fan of that, but uh, if you're running you know, two, like I'm running two Escanors, two Arthurs, so I get two evasion stacks on all of my characters, which means they have to hit that character uh, to get rid of one of the evasion stacks. It's not like evasion food where, you know, you hit with a single target and it, and it kills the whole food. You actually have to do like two AoEs if you want to get rid of all three characters' evasion stacks, so it's really, really annoying. Not a big fan of the way that they did that. They've also disabled Holy Relics, so that kind of hurts a lot of the old characters that could have gotten decent use out of this mode, but um, I guess, hey, it is what it is. Um, and uh, also, whenever you take an evasion stack off, uh, the enemy gains an attack-related stat buff of 10%, so you can have two of those on. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the way that they did it, so either way, this is the team that we use. It's double Escanor, double Arthur. Kind of fun. This is the team that the very top guy was using, so I figured it would be kind of a good like palette cleanser, like test it out, kind of see how it goes. But either way, enjoy the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit 20k. Have a good one. Okay. Ooh. Okay. A double melee team. Uh, he does have two evades. I also have. Hmm. Can throw that. Throw that. I guess I technically would need to use two AoEs to get rid of the evasion on everybody, though, which is unfortunate. I meant the Truth Seeker Merlin that locks AoE cards. Uh, oh, 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 gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why did he... Why did he evade that? Didn't I... Didn't I use three cards? I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. So, okay, because of the evasion, he doesn't lose his stacks, which is good. We didn't put on any debuffs, so Melly's not getting close to his his thing. Uh, there can be a total of three if you eat evasion food. Oh, that's, that's probably a good point. Yeah, his CC was a little low, so evasion food was probably right. All right, so he's going to put a little bit of a shield on himself. Um, I guess we go... This, this, uh, I wonder which melee is, a, I mean, obviously DK melee is like a really big threat, but <sighs> purgatory melee can be a, a bit of an issue. Okay, so that gets rid of one evasion stack. That kills King, gets rid of the last evasion stack. He's not going to be debuffed though, so this isn't going to do the double crit chance, double damage. Doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, that works. So he has true magic now. Actual true magic. <laughs> Not, uh, whatchamacallit. Not all creation, because it's the right melee that I'm thinking of. Pierce rate, lowering king in the bag. That's interesting. Uh, do you think Red Cross should increase Chaos Arena's 5k point system to 10k points? No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. The more, the more chances people have to use meta units, the the worse it's going to be. I'm not sure exactly. Like, I don't... I think it would just end up being the same thing. Like, I don't matter... I don't think it would matter, like, how many points a character needs to be used. Because people would end up using them and it would end up kind of evening out to be the same thing, would it not? Or am I thinking of that wrong? I gotta deal with him having two evasion stacks in the back? Jesus. Yeah, so far, not a big fan of this. Okay. Get to go first. He's using double melee, double Zeldris. So he still has two stacks. I guess we go with something like this to get rid of the buff on Zeldris. Unfortunately, we're still gonna have two evade or one evade stack on both of the melees. But this might help a little bit. Put some Ignites on. Melly's going to cleanse off one of those, unfortunately. But it shouldn't be the biggest deal. Level 2 Escanor is really nice. We have Arthur. Arthur maxed with his passive. So we should be okay. Good. <laughs> Crazy merges. Actually insane merges. 
I feel like running Zeldris in a scenario like this where you're probably going to be running against two evasion stacks is just not good, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so... Uh... Let's go with... Uh, hmm. I guess I'm going to have to use this. Uh, maybe we can do something like this. Maybe let the Escanor shine a little bit. Zeldris is not good for this. Yeah, I was kind of thinking so. This should hopefully kill Zeldris with the little, like, extra damage that it does. Ooh, okay. Pretty good damage there. Nice. Bam. Escanor's not critting very good. So that's unfortunate. Did I have Merlin Link on him, though? I probably need to make sure that he has Merlin Link on. Okay, he has Lost Mane at this point. He has not ranked up, like, with his passive, because we've not even hit him, really. That seems kind of typical. Hmm. Let me make sure that I have Merlin Link on him. Okay, so he gets to go first. He, he is able to get the free melee stacks, though, which is unfortunate. And the evasion is going to be incredibly annoying. Not a fan of that. I think it may be best to just throw this away. Throw this away. Oh, and he has Zeldris Relic, so i got to go for the merge, actually. Uh, okay, well. Let's do this, this, remove the buff. Oh, I probably shouldn't have played it like this, because he's going to get all creation now. That was kind of dumb. Maybe would have been better to just throw out the uh, the Escanor AOE instead. Because now he has all creation. I don't have Taunt up just yet. Ugh. I figured DK Melee would probably be annoying in this mode. See, the fact that they're like, hey, let's remove Holy Relics. Like, it's really only killing off older units. So, like, the new really broken units that don't even have Relics yet are... Uh, like, they're not even getting penalized from this, which is unfortunate. Oh, that's so much damage. Yeah, we're dead. Oh, he goes for Escanor? Okay. Um. Okay. I don't have ult removal, unfortunately. I doubt that this is enough to kill. And then he's not debuffed, unfortunately. I, I might be able to kill with this, but I'm kind of doubting it. Like, Eskinor does okay damage, but not that great. He's low on HP as well, so I don't think this is going to go crazy. Yeah. Uh, can this kill? Oh, so close. So close. Uh, he gains one stack here. He can get true magic with an AoE, though, because these two have stacks on. Uh, moving and ult gauge removing, I'm assuming. Rhyming a lot there. Boom. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that is, uh, that is a bit unfortunate. Okay. I guess this is uh, pretty much a loss. No, 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 nothing we can really do about it. So it is what it is. Um... Would you do Ratatasker for Trader, <laughs> Trader Melee, uh, Holy Relic? I mean, I don't think I care whose Relic is on there at the moment. It's just, like, Floor 3 is just not worth the trouble right now. Alright, what do we got? Okay, mm, here's the Liz comp. God, really high CC. This game mode's gonna suck, man. This game mode's gonna be terrible. I've seen a lot of JP YouTubers making videos on this this mode. I am already not, not a fan of it. Um... Ugh. Revive comp, no kidding. He gets okay. He gets double AOE with his melee. That's fantastic. Um, hmm. He has the revive. Luckily, his Liz isn't six six, so that's at least something nice. Um, he has so much defense related. It's probably not gonna matter if I hit him anyway. I think we hit Liz maybe. Because it's going to eat these two cards. I already got a merge for the Arthur passive, so that's somewhat nice. 
I don't know. I could have. I guess I could have just spammed the uh, like the Escanor cards to go for his ultimate. Oh, he has Monspeed Relic. Okay, or er, Monspeed Commandment. Sorry. Uh, okay. So I don't get to play my Arthur here. I was not not looking at the the commandment. I don't really see people using the commandment very often, but you know, people are still out there doing it. Okay. If he kills Escanor, I'm screwed. Okay, we're we're okay for the moment. Hmm. He doesn't have debuffs on, so that's at least somewhat nice. I don't think... If I don't kill here... Which I do. Okay, that's good. If I didn't kill there, uh, it, I don't think this Escanor was going to be able to, to secure. Teams just stacks each turn? Yeah, it's really annoying. Uh, We didn't get as much lifesteal back on the Escanor as I was maybe hoping for. So that's unfortunate. Okay, he has the red Liz in the back. Okay. Interesting. I was kind of expecting the other Goddess Liz for, like, more annoying res. But we'll see how this works out for us. There's the Infect. Final Flame on Escanor. This is going to kill Escanor on the right. And then he's going to kill my Arthur off, if I had to guess. Oh, it goes for my Escanor. Let's go. Uh, I don't... I still don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, pretty, pretty good cards. Hopefully I lifesteal at least a decent amount back. Oh yeah, that's such good damage. I think we're in the clear here. Might have been better to hit Lost Vein with this. Because uh, Lost Vein's at least somewhat old. Maybe it would have been better just not attack with him actually. It's just that way I keep my my stack, and I can still use three cards, but any AoE would have killed him, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Not a whole lot of lifesteal, unfortunately. I think we're probably dead. Yeah. It is what it is. Oh well. Two dodges plus dodge food is way too strong. It is kind of annoying. Okay. Arthur Mellicomp? Does he know that Arthur does not work very well with Melly? Uh, okay, no commandment stopping me, so that's good. I think we throw this out and maybe maybe this out to get rid of the evasion on Melly at the very least. We'll get Arthur's passive going. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so he does have the attack related, but he doesn't have any stacks, so it shouldn't be super crazy. I think he has champion Meliodas in the back for the basic stat increase, so that's kind of interesting. Um, Let's go with this. Uh, do I just go all in with Arthur here? I don't... I don't know if that's best. I guess I... Ah, let me do something like this, I guess. Because he can be... Ooh, this is going to kill Melly, I think. This this should... Oh! That was way... He's going to pop his... His Holy Relic. Oh, he doesn't have Holy Relic! So that's at least something nice. There's a small silver lining for me, I guess. Okay, and now his Arthur's really low. Champion Melee's not going to be able to do basically anything. So that's nice, I guess. Uh, he does have his passive popped at this point, so he might do some okay damage here, but I still have Evasion on everybody. So that's nice. Alright, well, I think we're pretty much chilling. Okay. I mean, not it's, it's not a great matchup, but... Uh, you know, that's something, I guess. Alright, here's another double Escanor, double, double Arthur comp. Okay, we get the Insta Merge, which is fantastic. Uh, I think we throw this out. This out, and then this out. We get an extra merge. Which I guess maybe it would have been better for me to just... Well, I, can't, I guess I can't because the evasion stacks. 
I was going to say maybe it would have been better to push for Escanor's ultimate, but I couldn't because of the evasion. Because if I hit, if that card hits evasion, it doesn't use the skill effect and I don't gain the ultimate move gauge. Dude, the merges are insane today. That's at least something helpful. And I got Red Monspeed to level 100 uh, to prepare for chaos when it comes to global. Oh no. He could be kind of nice. The Red Monspeed is kind of nice for like pushing stacks on your, uh, your melee and stuff. So... Can't blame you. Um, okay. Let's go... With something like this. We can get rid of the evasion on the other two. This is going to kill that Escanor off. We're going to infect here. That's a lot of damage to Escanor. No way he survives this. And then that's GG's. I don't know. It's either like... It's either a clean sweep... Because you get to go first and set up and get rid of their evasion stacks, and then they have to fight your evasion stacks. Um, or you get out CC'd and you get dominated. It just, yeah, like you said earlier, it's just it's very beneficial for the whales more than anything. And that's not fun. I don't like whale PvP. Whale PvP is, is annoying more than anything. Nice, great damage there. Uh, well, I mean, he gets his ultimate, but it resets, so it doesn't really matter. I don't know. Let me grab one more ticket, I guess, just to just to make this an even even 20-ish minutes. Would ultimate ask our holy relic be Ratatasker or Bird? Probably Ratatasker, if I had to guess. Anything that's going to be, like, new and good is going to be put on Ratatasker for sure. All right, so he only has one evasion stack. He might be running evasion food. So that could potentially be an issue. Um, we can go for the passive here. Uh, because he doesn't have Holy Relic, I think Assault Mode is kind of like a dead unit for this. Like, I don't think Assault Mode is going to be worth using at all without his Holy Relic. His Holy Relic is basically the only thing keeping him usable, I think. Get rid of the buffs on Zeldris. He doesn't have anything to cleanse. Yeah, I don't know. This is a, a cool comp. I like the idea behind DK and LR Zeldris on the same team. I just think, unfortunately, the, the Arthur comps and the Melee comps are going to be way too strong to compete against. So, I, I love the idea. Very cool idea. Unfortunately, just everything, like the, the meta stuff is going to be a lot more usable, unfortunately. Uh... Okay, I guess we just go for the Arthur setup, and then we're basically chilling. Yep, that's pretty typical. That sucks, man. I, I want stuff like that to be cool and usable, but unfortunately, I just don't think it's going to work. Yikes. All right, well, this is what the community wanted. They wanted the rule back. They've got it. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we're going to see how fun this is for the next week, but... Either way, for the YouTube video, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Come by and hang out with us sometime on stream if we if we do one. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video.